full of people walking up and down the street There's a band playing dead and down the Mercer Street In a coffee shop with a coffee that tastes like sunshine Hello again. In this segment, I'd like to talk to you about community gardens and how green spaces can shift the energy of your neighborhood. There are all kinds of ways that people go about community gardens. I know in a lot of areas, people will take plots and assign them to community members so they can come in and grow their own food. There's a number of ways that you can go about uh, developing a garden, but I'd like to tell you about ours in our neighborhood. There was a building that was uh, had caught on fire and was demolished and had created a very uh, ugly space. It was torn all to pieces. It was a really negative, dark space in our downtown. When the building was demolished, that very day a lot of us neighbors gathered around and several of us had the seed of the idea all at once that the opposite of destruction is creation. So a lot of us knew that the very clear response to that was to build a beautiful garden. There's not a whole lot of green space on Mercer Street, so the opportunity to create that was, uh, was ripe. So a lot of people don't pay attention to the people that live on this street, but we knew that giving our neighbors ownership over something beautiful like a community garden would be a very positive thing. It's opened the door for us to get to meet our neighbors and get to know them. A lot of them grew up on farms and around gardening, so they know a lot about growing food. They've been able to give us tips and be a part of this process. Our community garden is an open community garden, meaning anyone can be involved and anyone can come and harvest food uh, when they see fit, when it is ripe. We got donors for all of the raised beds and the plants. It gave people a real opportunity to be a part of the Renaissance. It opened the door for businesses who wouldn't have otherwise been involved to donate materials like American Block Company and Alvin Landscaping and the Acme Wood Preserving. They all pitched in on building these raised beds. Um, a man named Tracy Cutlip donated this very rich soil and a bunch of plants and all these volunteers who had a passion for gardening came together to build this garden garden for the people of this neighborhood. So it's been wide open and a beautiful social experiment. A lot of the naysayers out there said you can't plant a garden on Mercer Street because they're going to destroy it. But they have been the ones who have protected it. It's been a beautiful, successful social experiment. I love the community garden and what it represents. It's for the people, by the people. So really taking a negative space, a dark space, an empty space, and creating a green space on it can be a powerful transformative tool for your neighborhood. Opening the door for the community to participate um, can create an even playing field where people from all walks of life can meet and come together uh, to work on a very meaningful project. So I urge you to take a look at the possibility for a community garden in your neighborhood. And of course, if you'd like to ask us any questions about how we went about building our garden or other possibilities for formats for um, community gardens, we'd love to answer any questions that you have and connect you with resources for people who know a lot more about gardening than, than I do. So good luck with your, your green space. task at hand How can we make it better well, Yes, I know we can We can We can make a brighter day Can we look inside and find out what's not right Recognize the box and then step outside well, Who will stand up, light up, who will rise the challenge of this most trying time can we